Organocopper compounds in organometallic chemistry contain carbon to copper chemical bonds. Organocopper chemistry is the science of organocopper compounds describing their physical properties, synthesis and reactions. They are reagents in organic chemistry. The first organocopper compound, the explosive copper I acetylide Cu2C2 was synthesized by Rudolf Christian Bodiger in 1859 by passing acetylene gas through copper I chloride solution. C2H2 plus 2 copper 1 chloride Cu2C2 plus 2 hydrogen chloride Structure and bonding Organocopper compounds are diverse in structure and reactivity, but organocopper compounds are largely limited in oxidation states to copper I, sometimes denoted Cu+, as a D10 metal center, it is related to Ni zero, but owing to its higher oxidation state, it engages in less pi backbonding. Organic derivatives of Cu and Cu are invoked as intermediates but rarely isolated or even observed. In terms of geometry, copper I adopts symmetrical structures, in keeping with its spherical electronic shell. Typically one of three coordination geometries is adopted, linear 2 coordinate, trigonal 3 coordinate, and tetrahedral 4 coordinate. Organocopper compounds form complexes with a variety of soft ligands such as alkylphosphenes R3P, thioethers R2S, and cyanide CN Topic. Simple complexes with CO, alkene, and CP ligands Copper I salts have long been known to bind CO, albeit weakly. A representative complex is copper 1 chloride CO, which is polymeric. In contrast to classical metal carbonyls, pi backbonding is not strong in these compounds. Alkenes bind to copper I, although again generally weakly. The binding of ethylene to Cu in proteins is of broad significance in plant biology so much so that ethylene is classified as a plant hormone. Its presence, detected by the Cu protein, affects ripening and many other developments. Although copper does not form a metallocene, half sandwich complexes can be produced. One such derivative is eta cyclopentadienyl triethylphosphine. Copper. Alkyl and aryl copper compounds <laughs> Alkyl and aryl copper I compounds Copper halides react with organolithium reagents to give organocopper compounds. The area was pioneered by Henry Gilman, who reported methyl copper in 1936. Thus, phenyl copper is prepared by reaction of phenylithium with copper I bromide in diethyl ether. Grignard reagents can be used in place of organolithium compounds. Gilman also investigated the dialkylcuprates. These are obtained by combining two equivalent of RLI with copper 1 iodide salts. Alternatively, these cuprates are prepared from oligomeric neutral organocopper compounds by treatment with one equivalent of organolithium reagent. Compounds of the type Kern N1 are reactive towards oxygen and water, forming copper I oxide. They also tend to be thermally unstable, which can be useful in certain coupling reactions. Despite or because of these difficulties, organocopper reagents are frequently generated and consumed in situ with no attempt to isolate them. They are used in organic synthesis as alkylating reagents because they exhibit greater functional group tolerance than corresponding Grignard and organolithium reagents. The electronegativity of copper is much higher than its next-door neighbor in the group 12 elements, zinc, suggesting diminished nucleophilicity for its carbon ligands. Copper salts react with terminal alkenes to form the acetylides. Alkyl halides react with organocopper compounds with inversion of configuration. On the other hand, reactions of organocopper compound with alkenyl halides proceed with retention of substrates configuration. Organocopper compounds couple with aryl halides, araculi plus R Ce 2 araculi and Ce R 2 culli plus R 2 culli Ce araculi plus O2 and Ce 2 RR end aligned greater than arcs plus R 2 culli minus minus ara culli plus R x 2 ara culli 
minus minus a two Cully plus a two Cully error Cully plus O two R minus R display style begin aligned C E arcs plus R two Cully and C E Aracully plus R C E two Aracully and C E R two Cully plus R two Cully C E Aracully plus O two and C E two R R end aligned Topic Structures Alkyl and aryl copper complexes aggregate both in crystalline form and in solution. Aggregation is especially evident for charge neutral organocopper compounds, i.e., species with the empirical formula, RCU, which adopt cyclic structures. Since each copper center requires at least two ligands, the organic group is a bridging ligand. This effect is illustrated by the structure of mesotyl copper, which is a pentamer. A cyclic structure is also seen for Kutch 2 Shima 3, first one to one organocopper compound to be analyzed by X ray crystallography. 1972 by Lappert. This compound is relatively stable because the bulky trimethylsilyl groups provide steric protection. It is a tetramer, forming an eight membered ring with alternating Cu C bonds. In addition, the four copper atoms form a planar Cu4 ring based on three center two electron bonds. The copper to copper bond length is 242 pm compared to 256 pm in bulk copper. In pentamesotilpentacopper, a five membered copper ring is formed, similar to 2, 4, 6 trimethylphenyl gold, and pentafluorophenyl copper is a tetramer. Lithium dimethylcuprate is a dimer in diethyl ether, forming an eight membered ring with two lithium atoms linking two methyl groups. Similarly, lithium diphenylcuprate forms a dimeric etheret, Li -OET2 -QF2 2, in the solid state. <laughs> Alkyl and aryl copper compounds The involvement of the otherwise rare Cu oxidation state has been demonstrated in the conjugate addition of the Gilman reagent to an enon, in a so called rapid injection NMR experiment at 100 degrees Celsius. The Gilman reagent Me2 Cully stabilized by lithium iodide was introduced to cyclohecanon, enabling the detection of the copper alkene pi complex 2. On subsequent addition of trimethylsil cyanide the Cu species 3 is formed indefinitely stable at that temperature and on increasing the temperature to 80 degrees Celsius the conjugate addition product 4. According to an accompanying in silico experiments the Cu intermediate has a square planar molecular geometry with the cyano group in cis orientation with respect to the cyclohexenyl methane group and anti-parallel to the methane proton. With other ligands than the cyano group this study predicts room temperature stable Cu compounds. <reactions>, Reactions of organocuprates <reactions> Cross-coupling reactions Prior to the development of palladium-catalyzed cross-coupling reactions, copper was the preferred catalyst for almost a century. Palladium offers a faster, more selective reaction. However, in recent years copper has re-emerged as a synthetically useful metal, because of its lower cost and because it is an eco-friendly metal. Reactions of R2 Cully with alkyl halides Rx give the coupling product. R2 Cully plus RRR plus Ker plus Lixth reaction mechanism involves oxidative addition OA of the alkyl halide to copper 1 iodide, forming a planar Cu intermediate, followed by reductive elimination. Re. The nucleophilic attack is the rate determining step. In the substitution of iodide, a single electron transfer mechanism is proposed. R minus Cu R Minus R minus Li plus R minus X R minus Cu X R 
minus a minus Lee plus a minus C U plus a minus a plus Lee minus X Display style C E R color blue C E C U C E R carrot C E Lee plus X right arrow color red C E R X left C E R overset display style color red C E R atop underset atop display style color red C E X color blue C E C U C E R right carrot C E Lee plus C E two R color blue C E C U plus C E R color red C E R plus C E Lee color red C E X Many electrophiles participate in this reaction. The approximate order of reactivity, beginning with the most reactive, is as follows: acid chlorides greater than aldehydes greater than tosylates tilde epoxides greater than iodides greater than bromides greater than chlorides greater than ketones greater than esters greater than nitriles greater than greater than alkenes. Generally the OA re mechanism is analogous to that of palladium catalyzed cross-coupling reactions. One difference between copper and palladium is that copper can undergo single electron transfer processes. Topic: Coupling reactions. Oxidative coupling is the coupling of copper acetylides to conjugated alkenes in the Glaser coupling, for example in the synthesis of cyclooctadecanonarane, or to aryl halides in the Castro-Stevens coupling. Reductive coupling is a coupling reaction of aryl halides with a stoichiometric equivalent of copper metal that occurs in the Ullmann reaction. In an example of a present-day cross-coupling reaction called decarboxylative coupling, a catalytic amount of copper-1 iodide displaces a carboxyl group forming the aryl copper intermediate. Simultaneously, a palladium catalyst converts an aryl bromide to the organopalladium intermediate ARPA, and on transmetallation the biaryl is formed from ARPDAR. Redox neutral coupling is the coupling of terminal alkenes with halo alkenes with a copper I salt in the kadiot chodkovich coupling. Thermal coupling of two organocopper compounds is also possible. Carbocupration. Carbocupration is a nucleophilic addition of organocopper reagents RCU to acetylene or terminal alkenes resulting in an alkenyl copper compound RC equals CCU. It is a special case of carbometallation and also called the Normant reaction. Figure, catalytic cycle for carbocupration for the synthesis of aldol, bayless hillman type products. Topic: <laughs> Synthetic applications. The Chan-Lam coupling enables the formation of aryl carbon heteroatom bonds. It involves coupling of boronic acids, stannanes, or siloxanes with NH or O-containing substrates. Ullmann reaction involves copper-mediated reactions of aryl halides. Two types of Ullmann reaction are recognized Classic copper-promoted synthesis of symmetric biaryl compounds Copper-promoted nucleophilic aromatic substitution Sonogashira coupling reaction, which utilizes both copper and palladium, entails the coupling of aryl and or vinyl halides with terminal alkenes. <reducing>, Reducing agents Copper hydrides are specialized reagents used occasionally as reducing agent. The best known copper hydride is called Stryker's reagent, a cluster compound with the formula PPH3 CUH6. It reduces the alkene alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds. The Buchwald reaction is a copper catalyzed asymmetric reduction of activated alkenes. The reagent is generated in situ from copper NHC complex. The hydride equivalents are provided by a silane. Synthesis of Z fluoroalkene dipeptide isosteres. Other effort to make this a more selective reactions includes the use of oxidation reduction condition for the reaction. Fluoride acts as a leaving group and it enhances regioselectivity in the transformation the Z-fluoroalkene. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Cu alkylation reaction. Generally, the alkylation reaction of organocopper reagents proceed via gamma alkylation. Cis gamma attack occurs better in cyclohexoyl carbamate due to sterics. The reaction is reported to be favorable in ethereal solvents. This method was proved to be very effective for the oxidative coupling of amines and alkyl, including tertiobutyl, and aryl halides. Vicinal functionalization reactions Vicinal functionalization using a carbocupration Mukayama aldol reaction. Sequence Muller and collaborators reported a vicinal functionalization of alpha beta acetylenic esters using a carbocupation Mukayama aldol reaction sequence, as shown in Fig above. Carbocupation favors the formation of the Z aldol. Topic. Further reading Yao, B, Lu, Y, Zhao, L, Wang, D, Wang, M designing a Cu minus ARCU minus ARCU minus copper 1 iodide catalytic cycle, Cu catalyzed oxidative RNA C minus H bond azidation with air as an oxidant under ambient conditions. J. Org. Chem, 2014. DOI 10.1021 Joe 502115A Yamamoto Y Yamamoto S Yadagai H Mariyama K 1980 Lewis acid mediated reactions of organocopper reagent A remarkably enhanced regioselective gamma attack of allylic halides and direct alkylation of allylic alcohols via RCU BF3 Jacks, 102 7, 2318 2325. DOI, 10. 1021, 0 0 